Hey everyone, in this video, we'll talk about the pick function of stack. Let's start. So as you can see in my screen that there are three operations of stack. One is push, other one is pop and the last one is pick. So we have already discussed about push and pop. If you don't know what is push and pop, just click on the i button and watch that video. So we have already discussed about push and pop. Now we'll talk about pick. So pick function is very easy. So as you can see in my screen that one stack is drawn over there. So this is stack and what is the size of the stack? The size of the stack is 5. Now initially what is the top value? So the value of the top is 0. Why? We have only one value within our stack. That is why the value of the top is 0. So if we don't have any value within our stack, then what will be the value of the top? It will be minus 1. So pick function is nothing. It will just return you the value we have at the top of the stack. So at the top of the stack, what do we have? We have 10. So what it will do? It will just return the top value of the stack. So let's say that we have 100, 200, 300 and 400 now if we call the pick function if we call the pick function then what it will do it will just return us 400 right so what will be the output it will be 400 sorry 400 yeah now let's say that we will pop two elements let's say that pop so we'll call pop two times so after calling pop function two times so what our stack will contain now it will contain 200 right so we have pop two values what are those 400 and 300 so this is what pick function is so pick function will just return 200 that what value we have at the top but for pick function we have to check one condition that is underflow so if our stack is not underflow then what we'll do we'll send whatever values we have at the top now let's say that we don't have this 10 okay we'll call pop function one time and we don't have this value that is 10. So now what is the value of the top? The value of the top is minus 1. Now does our stack contain anything? So currently we don't have anything within our stack. So if we call the pick function then it will just tell us that we don't have any value within our stack. So I think this portions are clear that what is pick function. So for the last time you just tell me if we call the pick function now what value we'll get. Just pause this video and write in the comment section. So I think you have written the answer in the comment section. Let's go for the next slide. So what are the steps we have to follow? We have to check at first that our stack is underflow or not. So we have to check that our top is not equals to min. What is the value of min? That is minus one. If our top equals to equals to minus one, then we can't return any value. So I think this portion is clear. Now, then what we'll do if it returns true, let's say true, then we'll just return the value which we have at the top of the stack. So I think these portions are clear. Let's move into the code. Yeah, so this is the pick function. So at first what we have to do, we have to call the not underflow function. So this is a not underflow function. So we'll just check that our stack is underflow or not. So we'll just call this function. If our stack is not underflow, then we'll simply return the value we have at the top of the stack. So I think these portions are clear. If you have any doubt, just write in the command session. Now we'll go for the code. So as you can see in my screen that we have declared two header files. One is stdio.h and another one is stdbool.h. Then we have declared the size of the stack that is five and the min is minus one. So the size of the stack is five. This is the top. Initially the value of the top is minus one. So this is the not underflow function. So we will check that our stack is underflowing or not and this is the pick function so at first what we'll do we'll just check that our stack is underflow or not if our stack is not underflow we'll simply print or we can return the value of the top so for your reference i have printed the value of the top and you can simply return the top so for that we have to just write int over here and you will just add your return function so i think this portion is clear and this is the else condition if our stack is underflow. So 
if it returns false so it will simply print that our stack is underflow so you can see that we have called the pick function so after inserting 10 or pushing 10 we have just called the pick function so after pushing 10 what value we have at the top of the stack that is 10 then we have inserted 20 we just call the pick function then we'll get 20 30 30 60 60 so these are some values that we have inserted the size of the stack is 5 so we can't insert 60 then also the value of the top will be 50 so let me compile this code and we have called the pop function many times so let me compile this code so you can see that at first we have got 10 we have inserted 10 then we have got 20 30 40 50 so in this case we are inserting 60 and we are getting stack overflow it means we cannot insert any data within our stack so the peak value is 50 after popping 50 the peak value is 40 after popping 40 the peak value is 30 after popping 30 the peak value is 20 then we have popped 20 the peak value is 10 then we have popped 10 it's simply printing that stack underflow so here we have called the peak and pop two times two times so that's why we are getting four statement that stack underflow so i think this portions are clear that what is stack underflow and what is peak function if you have any doubt just write in the comment section see you in the next video